In this video, I'm going to work on individual integral. We are just going to arrive at the standard result for this integral. It's the integral of secant x dx. It is an integral that a lot of people will um, memorize the answer to because it is pretty frequent. You use it a lot. However, um, if, if you know a trick that will get you the integration relatively quickly with a nice little u substitution, then it doesn't have to be memorized. All right, so that trick that is going to help you get to an easy u substitution is to choose this secant x and choose to multiply by a form of 1 so that you are not changing um, the value of my original integral, but I'm going to choose to multiply by a secant x plus a tangent x all over a secant x plus a tangent x. All right, now that's the trick. You've got to know that this is what you've got to do to make the u substitution work. Okay, now when I do choose to multiply, all right, I can take this and distribute across the top. So then this becomes the integral of a secant squared x plus a secant x tangent x. And then on the bottom there, I will just have the secant x plus tangent x and then dx. And then hopefully at this point you can see uh, really easily how this is going to work for a u substitution. We're going to let that denominator be our u. So I'm going to let u equal the secant x plus the tangent x. And then when I take the derivative of both sides, I'll have a du is equal to derivative of secant is going to be secant x tangent x and the derivative of tangent there is going to be that secant squared x will have the dx. If I want to go ahead and solve for dx, then I would have um, du over, make that really long, secant x tangent x plus secant squared x, and then that equaling my dx. All right, and then granted this is in the opposite order, but since it's just addition, it really doesn't matter at that point. So then we can come back up here and we can make some substitutions. So we'll have the integral of a secant squared x plus a secant x tangent x, and then all over, this will be our u, so we'll replace that with our u. We'll replace dx with our du over our secant x tangent x plus our secant squared x. All right, and then that's going to allow us very nicely to cross out those two things there, leaving us with the integral of 1 over u du, which is something that we can integrate really simply there into just a natural log absolute value of u plus c. And as a final step, replacing that u with what we said it was going to be, natural log absolute value secant x plus tangent x and then plus c. So uh, definitely if you know the trick of what to choose to multiply by, then this makes it a nice little u substitution. This is just your standard typical result that we have for integrating secant x. And like I said, a lot of people would choose to memorize this. And as long as you know that trick, you really wouldn't have to take the time to memorize it, but you would definitely have to know what that trick is to be able to integrate it by hand. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.